I know you're a big conspiracy theory kind of guy. Yeah. What's up with the cop killers? So what's up guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. So, last video we were telling you about, we're going to Dutch's, and today is the day. We are going to see him, and just wait and see what's going to go on. So, I'm going to give you a little tour of the camper, so let's get on to it. So here's the camper right here. I'm gonna get down. Let's get in. This door actually can come out like that. Up here is her couch. It turns into a bed. Sitting place. Driver's seat. Up here we got Emma's bed. And then over here we got a fridge. Ooh, nice and cold. And up here we got a. Ah. Can't open it. It's a freezer right there. And then right here is where we start the generator, stove, microwave. We got a shower. And then. So we have a shower, we have a toilet, bathroom, then here is where me and my dad are going to sleep. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to go ahead and give you all a little tour of this before we leave. I'm going to leave about 4.12, I think, a little before 12. That's what we're going to try to do. Then we're hoping we can get there at 4 o'clock. Well, around four. Are you what? excited? Yeah. I'm excited for you. I'm a little jealous. Y'all get to go and spend the weekend in this. Yeah. I have to stay back here and work, you know. Feed the animals for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feed the animals and work. Uh, well, what's up, guys? This is Daniel from Arms hey. Family Homestead, and we're packing up for our first adventure Sorry. in the new RV. Mom doesn't get to go this time. Nope. Weston's not going. So it's just me and Houston and Emily. Emily. And we're going to take off. We've got about a three and a half hour trip ahead of us, headed to the land of Dutch, I'm going to visit our good buddy Keeping It Dutch off of YouTube. And he's having a big pig roast and doing all kinds of stuff. And then two days from now, which will be Sunday, we're actually going to go on a fishing trip in Northeast Oklahoma. So basically, we just wanted to test out the RV. We really don't need to take it. We could just stay at Dutch's house and probably be more comfortable than in the RV. But we want to test everything out before we start the demolition process and tearing this thing apart and renovating it. So, off we go. By the way, I already started the video. Oh, you did? <laughs> Houston's got his GoPro ready, so he's vlogging on the <laughs> GoPro today, I guess. Yeah. See you in a few days. Are you excited? Yeah. I know that guy's excited. You got your seatbelt on back there? Yeah. Alright. Whoa. Oh, I see a sign. Well, we made our first pit stop. We're about two hours into our drive. It looks like it's going to take us about four hours total instead of three and a half. Was You don't have to do that. So we made our first little pit stop at a gas station. Got us a chicken strip and a cream soda and a slushy. And uh, everything seems to be going good. The RV's driving good. Everything seems great. No problems yet. So knock on wood. Hope that doesn't jinx us. Knock on our cool cedar slab table. So uh, let's get back on the road.
Tell Aiden. Hey, uh, what kind of hazardous chemicals are you cooking our supper in here, dude? <laughs> oh, hey, that, uh, <laughs> it's gonna yeah, be burned off exist, here pretty yeah. quick. That's what I'd say, yeah. too. This is a burn pile, yeah. I think Abe's ready to get in the sauna. <laughs> I really do think you can probably eat about a third of that by yourself, right? Well, only if I had a little help. Well, I've seen that kid eat. This he kid ate like eat. 45 nuggets or something. Didn't day. even break a sweat <laughs> until afterwards. <laughs> yeah, we, we can put some damage on this. That's going to be a lot of pork. I know. I hope, sure hope it turns out good or we're going to have a lot of pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some Ziploc baggies. Oh, they ain't done, but they're here for All right. You mean they ain't done? How you know? I'm just, I yeah, be, Vincent, how, how you know they're not done? Because I cook for a living. <laughs> you got a meat thermometer? It's, yeah, but it's in the house. Well, as you can see, we got the uh, RV set up here at Dutch's house. I say set up, really didn't do anything except kind of take up half his driveway and find a decent flat spot and plug in an extension cord. We've got uh, 30 gallons of water, so if we need more, we can rob off of his garden hose. But uh, everything went well on the first trip is about a four hour drive getting up here so uh i'm pretty satisfied with it nothing broke down nothing fell apart that i know of yet but we are uh, getting ready to throw this pig on his pit so it's going to cook all night tonight all day tomorrow and they've already got a couple chicken cut open and thrown on there some ribs off of a lamb and uh yeah so we're just going to hang out here and let this pig cook all night long and have a big pig a pit pig i don't even know what you call this thing just a pig roast i guess not we're used to fish fries we have a lot of fish fries this is a pig roast so oh well enjoy it i don't know if that was really fair emily's like a foot taller than everybody i don't know I'm assuming you guys are trained professionals, right? Oh, yeah, very. Awesome. YouTube this has got to be a commercial kitchen type setup. I mean, it looks like it. Look at that. Got your ribs ready for you. Goat ribs. It smell good. It's probably done. Yeah, those probably are done. Yeah, I think it's good. So, uh, what are you guys doing at the moonshine barrel? What are y'all? What are y'all doing over here? <laughs> Can't talk about it's it. It's legal in video. 15 states. <laughs> What's this whole setup y'all were building when I was Kevin, tell me when I up. pulled up here in the chemical well, barrel hill? We were trying here. to find a way to make our own charcoal, so to say. So uh, I got on YouTube and started uh, researching a little bit and come up with this barrel. Cut a little hole in the bottom there to get the charcoal out and then uh, put some rebar to make it great. And we're burning some firewood on top. And the idea is the charcoal will fall to the bottom and then that's what we're going to put in here to keep this heat going. Because every time you put logs in here, it actually makes a big flame. So the idea is to use the heat from just charcoal. So if you guys aren't familiar with this guy, this is Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm. Go check him out. He's a, our local charcoal expert. <laughs> Cherokee MacGyver is what they call me. Well, you are cooking a pig in chicken wire, so <laughs> I, I can't disagree with that. Hey. All right, here we go. Is it, we'll put it in if you want to pull that board out. We'll split it. We'll split this over first. Ready? Hold on. You ready, Kevin? Yeah, but hold on, because you're gonna pull it. You're gonna pull me in there. Ready? Scoot it your way a little bit. All right. That's perfect. Perfect. Guaranteed to taste good, right? Yes. Oh, guaranteed. Look at that. Did you get a picture of all that? Oh yeah. Now I get a picture of this. Well, we're settled into the camper for the night. The kids had some Oreos. And uh, Emily's going to be sleeping up here in the top bunk. Yeah. You claim that spot, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Houston crawled in my bed back here. What you doing back here, Willis? Sleeping back here. Sleeping back here? <laughs> well, 
So we're gonna get all tucked in for the night. The camper is nice. This thing is awesome. The, the previous owners took really good care of it. All the light fixtures have been switched out to LED lights and everything is in good shape. Even though we're gonna take it apart and repaint it and redo it and do some stuff. But uh, anyway, it's got the coffee pot ready to go for first thing in the morning. And supposedly Dutch is gonna stay up, well, get up multiple times throughout the night and check on his pig. I don't know, I think he'll probably sleep. He says he's gonna get up every hour, hour, maybe two hours, check on it, stoke the fire. We'll see in the morning, we'll see. I bet he ends up calling me during the night and wants me to go do it or something. How's the top bunk? It's actually really comfortable. You like it? Uh-huh. All right then, well, I'm gonna turn off lights and go to bed. Okay, good night. Good night. Well, good morning, even though it was like three seconds after we said good night or whatever. I don't remember how we went to bed last night, but first night in the trailer, or first night in the RV was a success. Slept great, not perfectly level. Need to tweak on that a little bit more, but uh, everything went great. Tested out the shower, tested out all the plumbing, the sink, made coffee this morning. Everything is working great. Haven't seen any issues. There goes a ball rolling under the camper and a kid. So let's go check on that pig. I'm sure Dutch did not stay up all night cooking on it. He said he was going to stay up, get up four or five times throughout the night. But uh, when we went to bed, it was looking mighty delicious. And I'm sure this morning it's doing even better. What do you think? Yeah. Is the pig going to taste any good? Yeah. Yeah? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Look at here. Somebody's starting the day off with some cop killers. Might as well join the party, right? Ooh. I know you're a big conspiracy theory kind of guy. Yeah. What's up with the cop killers? Hey, we knew there's going to be a lot of cops here today, so uh -huh. we just kind of accommodate them, I guess. Uh -huh. <laughs> it does not apply to me anymore. This is not a cop killer anymore. With a little jab at me, you. Huh? <laughs> oh, I was looking at the donuts. I, I, uh, I got distracted. Uh. Kind of like... I got distracted and I never showed on video after we set the pig in the fire last night. Oh, you never showed that? Oh, hey, once. show them that down there. I recorded. Did you show them that? No, <laughs> no, I didn't show them, show them a foot. I recorded everything on Instagram and Snapchat and all that. Never once. I just looked back at my video. So this will be a sneak peek for you guys, maybe. And we uh, turned it earlier. So, t so tender looking. How's your homemade uh, Dude, this thing's working charcoal awesome. barrel working? Probably saved me about $500, no joke. <laughs> I'm telling you. I bet we went through a quarter of a wreck. Can we All right, let's take a sneak peek since I wasn't smart enough to record anything for you guys last night. Can you see it? Barely. Can I please touch? Oh. Why not? You can peg Vincent Pig Who? Vincent. The one that does the front flip? Yeah. A pig cooked in chicken wire. I never heard of such a thing. Have you? <laughs> no, no. I'll tell you what, me and my father in law moved it, and if we didn't have that chicken wire, there's no way. You would have just fallen it apart. Fallen you think? Apart. Yeah, absolutely. See how it kind of tore right there? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's awesome. It's pretty interesting. Awesome. Never done this before. <laughs> me neither. Guess what I was just asking Dutch? What? I was just asking Dutch to peg him with this ball for content. And he won't even say yes. I said you could peg Vincent. For the content. It's going to be his I like birthday. the way you're playing this for the content. <laughs> yeah, like that makes a difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's, it's going to be Vincent's birthday. We can peg him like 30 times. Really? So, hey, yeah. let's hear this. So, this is your brother's 30th birthday. Yes. You're having a surprise birthday party. He has no idea. And he has no idea. And you've made him 
clean everything. Help clean out yes. the shop, clean up the porch, clean up the yard, build the pit. Help. Hey, you know, he did a lot of standing around, let's be honest now, but he did live here for a while. And Brandy said, hey, he didn't put a deposit down, so he wasn't worried about getting a deposit back either. So uh, No cleaning deposit No back. cleaning deposit. It's funny. Listen, I love what you did, though. It's his birthday party. <laughs> And he's done half the work and no, has no clue. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you something that I told him last night, because it's going to be me and him out here doing the fire. And I said, hey, just go home, get your potato salad ready. I'll take care of this. He goes, all right, see ya. He was gone. Like, there was no, you sure? <laughs> he was gone. I haven't seen him since. He didn't come back. Yeah, no, he didn't back. Come <laughs> when you're ready. ready. Yeah. Yep. Got a saws off when you just. Oh wow! Everybody moves in. Wow. So that is why you skin them instead of uh. uh yeah. Yeah. I didn't know pigs had armadillo oh. shell. <laughs> yeah, really. it's an armadillo shell. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, All right, who's going to taste it first? Yeah, that's what I was wanting to say. Hey. Look at that fat. I was about to say, that's a hot I'll try it. Fat, yeah. Oh, gosh. Damn, it's Get your pinch, Lindy. Yeah, that's really good. Man, that's awesome. That's that, one that way to you sound surprised. Pig. Hey, I'm pretty surprised. Have a little faith in your ability. All right, let's try it. Yeah, I'm going to make a, this is on a plate. Don't think it won't be. <laughs> that's ever had it. I'm going to eat right off that. And that's a good plate. That looks what you say. It does look good. <laughs> All right, so hang on just a second here. We let Vincent and Dutch taste it, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's great. But I actually heard a lady taste it and say it was really good. It was good. And she was curling her nose to it while we go. It looks a little gross in the fire, but it's good. This is the best spot right here. <laughs> Would you believe that Dutch actually did something that worked? It worked. I keep like peeled the skin off like a shell and it is amazing. That meat is cooked perfectly. It's nice and juicy and tender. It's just like pulled pork like you'd get off of a, you know, at a barbecue restaurant and uh, it's actually really good. So we're going to go dive in. I'm going to go see if I can find Emily and see what her thoughts are on the taste. She might have already gone to the house, but I'm going to go see what she says. It's delicious. You actually got some of that pork off of that pig that was cooked mm -hmm. all night long, put the skin on, yeah, roasted out there. Mm -hmm. And you like it? Uh -huh. You think your mom would like it? No. Really? Maybe not. I don't you know. don't think so? I mean, maybe. I mean, based off of the flavor. Oh, flavor, yeah. Okay. Not not knowing what happened. No, she wouldn't like it then. But... Hmm. You know what? There was banana pudding in there and you got chocolate. I know, pudding. I was getting banana pudding too, don't I worry. bet you go back. I probably not that help, help yourself. <laughs> there, don't yeah, be shy. There's plates here or inside because there's more food in there. Alright, awesome. Oh thank you. Everybody getting their plates? Ooh. That's it. Hey, tender one, you better grab you some. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> Houston. Here's my plate right here. You gonna try it? I use yeah. you hungry? Yeah. Alright, let's get you a plate. My plate. Smells really good. Find out. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get this. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. That's good. It's worth eating. Yeah. Still tell Dutch, okay? <laughs> hey, is it better than your dad's? What's better, arms pork or Dutch pork? Dutch pork. Oh. <laughs> well, the big cookout's winding down. As you can see, it's evening. We started off early this morning and uh, cooked. I thought he was cooking, planning on eating dinner this evening, but it was lunch. I'm glad I wasn't late, but <laughs> that's why I brought my house with me, right? But uh, cook out the pig went, oh, that was awesome. You did a good job. Dude, I, I hate you. to admit it, but you did a really good job. Dude, I was I was impressed, man. Peeling that shell, that skin just became like a did hard you get shell. That? Yeah, I did. It was awesome. Yeah, that's cool. And uh, I was afraid it was going to be dry, but that hard shell, it was like an armadillo shell when you yeah. peeled it off. Yeah. Vincent used a piece of the of the skin for a plate. <laughs> it's almost like it, it steamed worked. inside there, wasn't it? Like yeah. it just steamed and cooked. When hard. you pulled that back, the, the steam come boiling out of there. It was awesome. It went really, really well. And uh, 
The last couple days in the camper have been pretty cool. Last night we slept in there. Got a little cold this morning, but so far everything's worked good. The shower, I had a nice hot shower in a, you know, like a two by two square. Did you video that? No, I didn't video that, <laughs> but it worked. Everything's worked so far. I haven't found anything that was broken. So I really wanted to take this thing out and use it before you know, we decided to tear into it. Yeah. And I think this is a good break in trip. Oh, yeah, so sure. we're going to stay in it again tonight and then drive it back home about, about four hours. It takes a little longer in this thing than it does a car, <laughs> but, uh, it was a good trip. I had a lot of fun and, uh, you guys, it's not over for you cause we're going to go fishing tomorrow, but, um, I sure wish you were going fishing with us. Oh, well, I'll, you catch them all this time. Then we'll go, we'll go again. I'll catch them next time. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyways, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. There's a ton of other videos out there about the cookout i didn't film a ton of stuff from the cookout that's not what my intentions were for coming up here to make a video about his pig cook but there were several other little smaller yeah. youtube channels here yep. i didn't i didn't know what his plan was this was a birthday party i gotta switch arms my arm getting tired a birthday party for vincent your brother yep was, turned 30 turned 30 and uh, he got a really nice birthday present by the way he did get a nice one a, a g-lock <laughs> yep one of these yep he'll, and, he'll be pretty pumped about that <laughs> but uh he invited a lot of friends and family over and there were several church yeah and then several of dutch's friends have youtube channels also yeah. so it was kind of fun everybody had a camera out but not like a big meetup you guys didn't miss out on no. a meetup we weren't doing anything like that no, but, not at all uh, it was a lot of fun it's all about vincent and the pig yeah the pig it's all about <laughs> a pig thing. situation hey look cool. at my shirt you show my shirt <laughs> <laughs> there you go you know all right so guys that's all we've got for today thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video